What's up guys and welcome to my New York vlog which I am so excited about. Partly it's kind of selfish because I actually love looking back on these vlogs when I come home just when I'm in Cincinnati feeling a little homesick and it's interesting because all the vlogs I film in Cincinnati I will never watch again like I have no interest it's boring to me because I lived it right but I will actually go and watch my old New York videos when I just want to look back at the at the memes when I'm missing home and so this this one day is gonna be one of those videos but I'm also so excited just to show you guys my life on Long Island uh, Long Island New York you guys know that's where I'm from I've lived here my entire life until obviously I moved to Ohio four years ago that's insane but right now we are actually in my mother's room which I don't know if you guys can tell there's like a little pillow fort over there Walter you guys know Walter especially if you follow me on Instagram I finally got to meet him he actually sleeps in the pillow fort most nights but yeah this is my mom's bedroom then if we go down the hallway you're gonna see the disaster of my bedroom this is awful guys it's just my room can you tell I don't know if you can tell it is like the tiniest room on planet earth one fun fact that people like can never believe is that my light switch is outside my bedroom people growing up would always be like why the light switch is outside but yeah it's a disaster in here it's just impossible to keep everything organized that's from when I came home my mom had all the pillows on the bed but yeah a lot of you guys are probably gonna be sad my parents painted my bedroom it used to have the polka dots on the wall that my mom and I did when we were younger well I guess when I was younger I guess she was too but nope they've decided to paint it and get rid of the mems and this right here is my outfit of the night I feel like I never show you guys my outfits I don't know I just I, I don't do you guys find it interesting or what but this is just a dress I got from Target for like 10 bucks it was so cheap it I mean the materials not you know great but I think it's perfect it's just like a casual black dress it's light it is like so hot here on Long Island right now and I'm about to go to the lazy lobster with my friend Carly she lives right across the street from me crazily enough her parents actually sold their house to us when I was five years old and then they just moved right across the street just because they needed a bigger house so that was crazy she still lives on our street and it's so weird to think of how my life would be if I didn't move away. And it's so weird to think if I didn't choose a job in broadcast journalism, like if I never tried to be a reporter, I'd be living in New York still. I'd be living either possibly in the city, maybe still at home, I don't know. I mean, I definitely wouldn't have moved away from home three days after graduation, that's for sure. I would have stayed at home for at least a little bit. It's just so weird to think like this is what my life could be. And this is what my life was. But anyway, just getting a little nostalgic. You guys could probably see the trophies in the background, yes. I was an athlete back in the day. Some people find it hard to believe because on my live reports, I try to be goofy. So people will think I'm like very unathletic because I'm goofy, but no, I was actually, you can see right there. I was a star athlete back in the day. And apparently I was a little mini Picasso as well. I don't know how, but I remember painting this. I remember this moment thinking, wow, I just created a masterpiece. I, I really don't know. Let's check in, see what the parentals are up to on this wonderful Saturday evening. Is that asleep? Now he's just playing dead at this point. <laughs> you're not asleep, you're such a liar. People don't sleep with a smile on their faces. He's having a good dream. Dad, oh my gosh. Even Walter's playing dead, no one wants to talk to me. <laughs> Walter, guys, I'm not kidding. I don't, I've don't. i never loved a dog so much. I have never in my life, like, I mean, oh, I loved my old dogs, obviously. We are. I, I love my old dogs too, but I think it's just makes sense. Remember, the intention was to have them temporarily. Yeah, my parents actually took Walter in. I say my parents, all oh, my mom. Let's be real, but she took Walter in as just like a foster thing. She'd only keep him for it's a few a weeks. Scam. It, it, what? It's a scam. What? It's a scam, Dad. You're literally the whole thing is like adopt, don't shop. How wonderful it is, and we have Dad saying it's a scam. But they give the dog. You never give the dog back, and they know that. Yeah, but and they lied. They said the dog was like three years of age. The dog. Was... <laughs> Mom, this is like supposed to be like a happy story. I know, Dad. It's just true. Wow, Dad. Tell us how you really feel. Oh my God. Well, are you happy we got him? Yeah, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying it's a scam when they foster the dog and they're never going to take the dog back. Oh my gosh. They lie about the age. They lie about her. How old was Walter? Is Walter? He's like ten. He's not no, 10. No, the vet thinks he's between seven and eight. Yeah, they tell you he's like three. Well, you they know They don't tell you about his limp. Well, you could see his limp. Oh my God. They don't tell you about it, but once you take the dog, that's, that's over. It's, that's it. Dad, uh, oh my gosh, this is supposed to be a happy, positive video. Well, and... It is, like, I'm just telling you, like, it's a scam. All right, well, so yeah, they do lie maybe a little bit, but 
we get a happy ending out of it because Walter was in a shelter for more than 400 days. I mean, that's such a long time to not have like a true owner, like a, like a loving owner. Are you talking to me or the video? I'm talking to both of you! <laughs> no, it's my vlog. I'm so excited. I was telling them I love looking back on my New York vlogs. Because you know why? You really want to move back here. No. Yes. Tell them you, you want me to move back, right? Of course I do. My mom probably brings it up once a week. Move yeah. back? Yeah, mom wants me oh. to move. <laughs> Dad does oh. not. <laughs> Dad would have a heart attack if I moved back. Great social life, career. Mom, talk to them about the prices of, the, the real reason I can never live in New York, the prices of houses in this neighborhood. Right, but it, uh, salaries go with it. Is there any chance I could be dead by them? Dad. <laughs> no, <laughs> you would love it, are you kidding? Back, all the way back in a- I'd be sticking a vlog camera in your face corner. every day. One thing I have to say, I, I find it so weird when people's parents are like, don't film me, if different YouTubers. Like, I like how you guys are just chill. Yeah, like, can we get a hairbrush or yeah, something? Yeah, well, I think you're- chill, I prefer he didn't give me payment Dad's to- Dad's just <laughs> back from working. You sound like Zach, you want the payment. Want, yeah, he- It's all about the money. money. He'll help you <laughs> for money. But like, let's, you know, hey mom, how about putting on some makeup and No, you look beautiful hair. naturally. Yeah, sure. You do, you're a natural beauty. Uh -huh. This is a real natural beauty. <laughs> guys. I picked only the best photos I could find. My mom picked the- Best looking photo she could ever find for my the real, shrine. The real Clancy. The best me as a boy. That was great. I really did look like a boy. All right, so the one thing I forgot as I step over this mess is a bag. And I obviously need to be able to put my things in something. So this is my closet. Welcome. Darn it. I really, oh, do I not have any bags up here? Jeez. Oh my gosh, guys. Man, you guys don't know about this phase of my life, but I used to want to be a priest and I had like a whole holy shrine. Very interesting phase of my life to say the least. Oh my gosh, some, oh, oh yes, this is perfect. This is really ugly, but it'll have to do. All right, there we go. Didn't know that was there, but do you guys remember these shoes in the back of my videos? I used to have them on display. Fun fact, I have never worn those shoes out. They are absolutely impossible to walk in, but they look really cool. Do you wanna go to the Lazy Lobster? Oh, I wish I could take you, you're so cute. Talking to each other, I know we feel the same. I was in the sun for a little bit, but it's not as bad as it looks. It really is. This is Lazy Lobster. We're all very lazy right now. And really is the red demon. It really is the Lazy Lobster. <laughs> now it's time for something better. And time for us to follow our dreams. No, we can't stay no more. Oh. Come run away. Don't be afraid. probably tell right now, I'm going to the beach today. I, growing up, lived 15, 20 minutes from the beach. I mean, here on Long Island, that's all it takes to get to the beach because we live on the South Shore. When you go to the beach every single week, it kind of loses its allure. Like, it's not like, oh my gosh, the beach. It's just, oh, like we're going to the beach again. It's not that big of a deal. But then when I moved to Ohio four years ago, um, I missed it. I mean, I have not been on a Long Island beach since before I graduated college. Like since before my senior year of college, actually. That was my very last time, the summer before my senior year of college. So this is a big deal. And I have seen the beach in the winter time, but I'm dry, uh, we've, got the, we've got the cover up on, we've got the hat. Like I am going to the beach, but we must talk about the tragedy of this morning. And I'm probably gonna be walking around with a limp. I it was actually in this exact room. I waltz in, I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking. Boom, a nail went right through my foot and I just felt it sink right in and I had to pull it out. I was like crying and you know what? People didn't even care in this household. Dad, tell them what you told me and it went right through my foot. You had no care in the world. <laughs> you didn't even care. What did I say? So my dad, we're not gonna show it because it's really disgusting, but what happened the other day? I got misfired and, went, and a nail went through my thumb. Okay, so he's a carpenter, there's a little bit of context and his machine, not his machine gun, oh my gosh. His drill, I guess you'd call it. A nail gun. A nail gun, oh, there we go. It misfired and it went through his thumb. So as I'm standing in this kitchen crying, as my mom is cleaning up the blood and helping me out, my dad just walks up to me, shows me his thumb and says, perspective, and walks away. <laughs> Good lesson, wasn't it? 
<laughs> That's so upsetting. No one cared. I was bleeding. But back to the beach story. I'm going to be going to Carly's beach club that she's a member of. And I'm going to be driving us because I have plans tonight with my cousin and my cousin. It's funny. It's my first cousin and my second cousin. So I need to be able to get back from the beach and get home in time to get ready and put myself together and then go back to the water because we're going out in a place called Freeport, which is like right on the water as well. So yeah, that's the plans for today. Very exciting. All right, I've got my beach bag essentials. I'm literally just using my local 12 backpack. First up is a beach towel. Then I've got a grilled chicken wrap. Man, this is from the Malvern Deli. Guys, I'm telling you, there is nothing like this in Ohio. It's so good. I am also bringing my GoPro in case I get any footage. And of course, some sunscreen. Yes, I wear SPF 60 on my face. I do not let my face get exposed at all. And that should do it. It's like we're running in circles, going around every day, getting stuck in the hurdles of yesterday. Don't you want to go further? So this right here is the current situation. Honestly, I don't even know what to tell you. I am such an organized person, but there is just no being organized when you are on vacation. I just, I don't even know what to do. And by the way, all of these are clean clothes because I have to do the laundry because I've been working out and running. So everything was sweaty. So yeah, this is a mess and this is too. And oh my gosh, this is just awful. But guys, this is where I used to sit to film my YouTube videos back in the day. Like I would put the camera up there and then sit there just like this. This is so weird. It feels so weird to be back here. And normally the background, I'm sure it'd be a lot less <laughs> messy. But today is super exciting because I am going to be seeing a friend who I have not seen in probably six years. I mean, I maybe even more. I don't know. It is crazy that I haven't seen her in so long. Her name is Nicole. She was like my best best friend in high school probably my sophomore year and my junior year part of my senior year but then we kind of fell out of touch because she transferred schools we had actually gone to school together since we were three years old since we were in nursery we both went to st anne's school and we lived like five blocks away from each other never though were we ever friends like we just were not friends at all this entire time even though we were in a class of like 30 people at our grade school from nursery to eighth grade then we went to high school still weren't friends sophomore year of high school i don't know what it was we just like clicked and i seriously probably spent every day of my life with nicole my sophomore year and then my junior year of high school. But then senior year, she transferred to our local public school and that's when we kind of fell out of touch, but I am so excited to see her. And here she is, see Nicole for, okay, first time in how long? Oh God, um, what are we saying? It's been like four or five years? I've been like six years. Six years, maybe more like six. Oh my goodness, yeah. okay. And then last time I saw her, she was probably in college, maybe if that. Yeah. And now she's engaged. It is so pretty, but the funny thing about Nicole is the story of her fiance. Just go for it. This is yes. insane, guys. Okay, so me and my now fiance, his name is Ryan. We met through Facebook when we were 13 and 14 years old. He's a year older than me. And um, I was like totally obsessed with him at the time. He ended up like leaving me to date somebody else. And he <laughs> dated this person for seven years. Um, he moved to Florida to live with her and it ultimately didn't work out. So he ended up coming home. And then during that time, I was in a four year relationship with someone in the military. Things with him didn't end up working out. And literally the day that me and my ex-boyfriend broke up, I went out with some old friends and Ryan happened to be there and I was really mean to him at first because I still had some resentment towards him for what happened and then as the night went on I decided he wasn't so bad and so he invited me out with them the next day we ended up just hanging out after that and the rest is history and here we are four years later now we're engaged that is so crazy one more look at the ring and you said it's a one and a half carat yes one and a bigger. half that looks a little bigger than it actually is it is so beautiful guys it turns blue under a black light it has blue fluorescence in it Oh my gosh, Ryan did so well. So my mom and I decided to come back to the beach. Of course, I had to come here. But if you've ever wondered if you should swim in the Long Island waters, I will answer your question right now. This is a shark that apparently washed up just within the past couple of minutes. And I thought it was fake at first, but you can see right there. 
no, it is not fake. Let me not get wet, let me not get wet. But yeah, a legitimate shark. But no, I mean, I've obviously swam in Long Island waters my entire life. These are like the best waves ever, but right now it's just way too cold to go in yet. Like you gotta wait till at least July for it to warm up a little bit. But yeah, that is a shark that would have been just swimming in my presence if I would have gone in. All right, so this right here is a New York staple Nathan's famous hot dogs. Mom got a dog. <laughs> That's weird to say. Mother got a dog. And this right here is just, I, I've never been that big of a hot dog person personally, but. Mom, would you say the food is better here or in Cincinnati? Well, I'm used to the food in New York, so I'd have to say that ours is better. Oh. We're, we're known for a lot. Of, you're known for chili. Ew, I don't even eat that stuff. See, because you're a New Yorker. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna ever do the chili, guys. I'm sorry. Overall, I don't know. I have like not been enjoying the food here. I think it's, do you think it's the water, mom? I've been having stomach problems where my stomach hurts. Yeah, people when they travel, the change of water makes a big difference. Just wanted to show you guys a nice little New York staple because I feel like I'm doing a really bad job of representing Long Island because I have not been vlogging that much, but I'm just trying to have fun. And mom is just blasting the, well, could you keep shutting it off? Look, I'm dying. Air conditioning is just, it's not. red face, red. This just might be the worst photo I have ever had taken of myself. Do you see, when I was younger, I used to legitimately smile like that where I thought I was supposed to curve the bottom of my lip over my teeth so that you could just see all of my wonderful gums. Like what? Who taught me to smile like that? I'll never forget in eighth grade, my friend telling me like, why, why are you doing that? You look dumb. And I was like, what is she talking about? You know what? Let's, let's ask my mom. Let's see. Mom. Did you teach me how to smile ever? Is that ever a thing? No. Yeah, well, do you see how I used to smile with my gums? Yeah, so if that was you, it was you. Why wouldn't you tell me? It's all about what you do when you're happy. Yeah, I smile with my gums. Gosh, to help a girl out. Right now though, it is 3.44 and I'm about to go get sushi with Carly and her boyfriend, Matt. I don't know if I'm gonna eat anything right now because this is Matt's dinner. He is a cop here in Nassau County, so he works weird hours right now. He works from 7 p.m to 7 a.m. Talk about weird hours. I mean, mine are nothing compared to that. So he's on dinner time right now. I had lunch like two hours ago, so I just, oh, I just don't know if I have room in my stomach for anything right now, but either way, it's gonna be great to see them. The best part about being home is getting to use my mother's things because I have discovered her perfume, which is the same one I love. I'm pretty sure I gifted this to her. It smells so good. And as you can see, this is why I don't give you guys OOTDs out for the days. Like there's nothing special about my outfits and I don't know how people put together these crazy outfits every day of their life. Like I, it's just, this is perfect. Like a nice V-neck with some shorts. We've got some sneaks on like, I just, I, I respect fashionable people. I'm just not one of them. All right guys, right now we are here with Carly and no Matt, because Matt is at work. He cannot be on the vlog, explain why. He's doing the special forces and he's trying to be um, as anonymous as possible online. His presence online. His presence online, but man, and Carly's about to have a full summer of fun. Yep. She's a teacher. Yep, it's it's about not. to start. And she's actually explained the difference phys ed and gym. The difference between phys ed and this gym. will get really okay. going. So physical education, it is a subject where I am your teacher and I am teaching you a lesson the same way your biology teacher would teach you a lesson and you would learn something, there would be an outcome and I would see if you learned it with an assessment. And gym is just like a gym teacher who doesn't care, who will just give you the ball and let you do whatever you want. And that's like the short version. What I really wanted to tell you guys about though is Carly and I's past because I feel like I've mentioned it on YouTube before. I was bullied. I was bullied as a kid and you're looking at my bully, which makes things very awkward, very weird. And it's not normal that your bully turns into your best friend, but, yeah, but you can confirm. We, but can we also set the record straight that I'm not like a known bully. I, no. You were the only person I ever was mean to. <laughs> I was not bullying the entire neighborhood. No, like Carly it was, was just you. It was, it, I don't and know. What a do you little think bit it, Neil. Do you think Neil felt like a victim at all? Uh, uh, probably a little bit, but I feel like we spent a lot of time together. Yeah. But I mean, the basic rundown is 
Carly lived on our block and then I moved into her old house. She moved across the street. So there are just a bunch of kids in the neighborhood. She started a rumor. Why would you do this? That I was an alien. No, I don't really think we can say fairly that I... No, you definitely, you definitely did. We said that Clancy and Neil were aliens and I guess I kind of thought of it, but I spread the word to everyone that they were aliens and we all kind of got like riled up that they were aliens and it just like snowballed into like, how do we know that they're aliens? And then I said that you didn't have belly buttons, so. <laughs> there was emotional abuse for sure, but it does not stop there. I got physically abused by Carly multiple times. I can think of three instances off the top of my head that you remember I know one of them. Carly told me not to look at her secret book and I looked at it, she's on her bunk bed. She flew down, attacked me, like physically assaulted me. I don't know what she did, but I went home hysterically crying, in pain, my head. You like did something to my head. I think I just wrestled you. Like I wrestled, I tried to get the book out of you, you and I, I gave a little extra that was yes. needed to get the book back. One time, another time, I'm playing, I'm thinking I'm with the gang finally. She kicks me in the shins. Do you remember that one? As yeah. hard as you could. I also I don't know. kicked Liz in the shins. I, but why? Liz on communion day told me I looked pretty in my dress, so I kicked her in the shins. So it might have been a short phase of kicking people in the shins. Yeah, that was, I got but caught up in that phase. You would never tell me you, I looked pretty. Like, no, I would have never, I would have never said I, There was no context otherwise. No, why would I even compliment you when you're being this mean? And then another time, do you remember you slid the skateboard out from under me when I was on it? I was just standing on it in front of Gianna's house. No. Slid it out from under me, I fell right, I think I fell on my knees and went home crying. So I dealt with bullying when I was younger, but somehow a friendship formed. <laughs> It's like, wait, I wait, like what's it so called? I had Stockholm Syndrome, is basically what it was. But I wasn't that, like, for all the bad times, think of all the good times. <laughs> well, yeah, we did get over it. And Carly, I do have to say, like, out of any human on planet Earth, is just the nicest non-drama. All right, guys, tonight's dinner is quite possibly one of the most classic Long Island dinners you could possibly imagine. I'm gonna put the camera down so you can open this bag, but it's the same place if you guys watched my last vlog of me coming home, La Bottega, that I got that salad I love. This time, though, I got, you will see, a panini. And I don't know what it is, guys. The paninis are just so much better on Long Island. I don't even, I really don't even know a place for a good panini in Cincinnati, like at all. And it's like a legitimate thing that the bread here is so much better and it's the water. I hear it's like the water that just makes, like look at this, look at this guy. This is just, mm, it's so good. And this right here, it's called the Cuneo, the Cuneo, I really couldn't pronounce it, but it's just grilled chicken, roasted red pepper and roasted zucchini on ciabatta and if this doesn't look good guys like if this just doesn't look like the most beautiful thing you've ever seen i just don't know guys i just don't even know a little update on the food situation whenever you have food just know if you look up a dog is very very close by and also very helpful he looks so cute should we be doing something what do we do oh uh, you take off close we take, take off, off everything, keep underwear, face down here. And then do we put something on, like that thing? Take off everything, keep underwear, face, face here. Okay, this is just such a bad situation. I don't even know where to begin, because that was probably worse than what I even imagined.